Splatoon 3 is an excellent game and I've enjoyed learning it and playing it with single player modes, the casual modes and the ranked modes but there is just one thing that I've noticed from an outside perspective. Before I started playing the game and now I saw it even clearer from an inside perspective is that the competitive scene is not taken seriously as it is in other games. From playing the game it's clear to me that it's not an issue with the gameplay. The gameplay is completely fine. Casuals learn it easy, a lot of weapons and a lot of strategies to figure out and find your place for and for the higher levels there are more advanced tactics and strategies to master to make the gameplay more intense and enticing so that is not the big issue. Because Splatoon 3 was my first Splatoon 3 game I have been looking at the game from an outsized perspective. Before that I thought one of the reasons it could not be taken seriously is the fact that it is seen as a kids game. The, the much is the fact that I hate this term and there are a lot of adults that play this game as well but I thought this could be a reason that a lot of people could not give it a chance and I was one of these people but once I've started playing the game I see there's a wide range of people that play and enjoy the game. There is also the fact the game is only available on one platform which is the Nintendo Switch which is less our own console. The fact that it's only one platform is limiting the amount of people that may take it seriously. While I think this could be a big issue, I still think even outside of Japan there are enough people that own the console and the game for it, for it to be okay. What have I felt is the most major issue is the connection between three. It was awful at the start of the game, it has improved a bit but there are still glaring issues that cannot be ignored. First, the most basic issue is the input delay lag where you could be trying to use a sub or a special or even just trying to fire your, way, your main weapon and the half a second of input delay could change the whole outcome of an encounter between you and enemy and this could change the whole outcome of a match. It even doubles in competitive where there might be a delay picking up a clam or a rainmaker and it doesn't register so the opponents suddenly have it which could cost you the entire match. This can be extremely frustrating when you're trying to win the game or climb up the ladder to improve at the game. There is also the fact when when I when in a competitive game and towards the end of the game you'll just disconnect and it'll instantly count as a loss regardless of how well you're doing in a game which is also very frustrating. But none of this is bad as the connection issues of trying to get in a game. These are awful. I feel like 1 in 5 games there is a connection issue going into the game, pulling you out of the search for a game, wasting your time. Sometimes it just goes over and over and I'm not able to get into a game of all together. This also follows into the fact when you're in a game and someone leaves or disconnects it pulls you out of the game having to search for another game. This can happen more often than it should. It also wastes a lot of time when you're just trying to relax and play the game. For the people who only have limited time in a day, maybe at the end of the day to play games it can be a massive waste of time for them getting frustrated and they'll probably end up finding another game to play and I feel like the less casual people that are enjoying the game and supporting it, the less people that will go on to take the game seriously. 3 is my first Splatoon game. I had to look into the previous instances of these games to see if the connection is as bad as it was back then. From what I've heard, Splatoon 1 and 2 never had as bad issues and Splatoon 3 is the only game that has had major issues. So why is this? Well, from what I've heard, Ninten the game is run on Nintendo's new servers are apparently meant to give you a smoother connection. I'm not sure what smoother means, but it certainly doesn't feel smooth. I understand for a new thing to be good, they have to test it, and there's only so much testing they can do before publicly testing it with the millions of people connected to it, and that might reveal some issues that were not foreseen. So they would have to publicly test it to see how it handles. It needs to be tested if it's going to be used to see if there's any oversights and I understand that Nintendo didn't, don't want people to just be disconnecting left, right and centre. They want people to be able to play the game as intended and I hope they are trying to everything to make it work but I feel like they should just be able to play the game. This should be a basic minimum. And for the competitive scene, it will not be taken seriously if the game is just based on lack of input delays. So what do you think about Splatoon 3's connection? Do you think if they fix it the game would have a competitive scene? Or if there are other reasons why it's not taken as seriously that I have not factored in? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, make sure to stay connected and see ya.